Do you have a Shopify store and want to increase your conversion rates, your customer service and reduce manual workload? Well, let me show you how with Shopify AI agents. Hey, Jotformers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly. And as you can see, I'm currently in my Shopify store. And like I mentioned, if you have a Shopify store and you want to do all of those things that I mentioned in the intro, this is going to be for you. So as you can see, I have a clothing and accessories store. And if we take a scroll down, we can see that there's no chat bot in the right hand corner. So she's going to be right down here. I'm going to go ahead and go back to my back office. And we can see all my products here. We have lots of different products with lots of different SKUs and variants. I'm gonna go to the next tab over to the Shopify app store. And now you can always search for Jotform up here at the top, but I'm already here. So I'm going to utilize that install button. Next, I'm gonna choose my store. And before we install the app, it's just letting us know what Jotform and Shopify are going to be doing with each other. So the first one is going to need access. The first is going to be to our personal data, which is going to be our customers and our store info. And then we have our store data. That's going to be our products, our orders, our store and our admin. So let's go ahead and install. So we can see over on the left hand side, we now have a Jotform AI chatbot and live chat option over here. I'm going to go ahead and connect. Now I am already logged into my Jotform account. If you do not have a Jotform account at this point, you're going to want to create a new account here or log into one if you have one. So I'm gonna go ahead and allow. And over on the left-hand side, you can now see we have our account settings and our pricing information. And from here, we have two different options. We can either create a new AI chatbot, or if you have already created a chatbot over in Jotform, you can absolutely select it and have it utilized in your Shopify store. For this example, I'm going to go ahead and create a new one from scratch. Let's go ahead and do next. And this is where we're going to choose the skills that our chatbot is going to have. So we have product discovery, which is going to be personalized recommendations. We have support that's going to be answering FAQs and policies. We have engagement and upsell. That's again, recommendations, promotions, and discounts. And then we have order management. That's going to help with the tracking, the shipping returns, all of that. So let's go ahead and do next. Now we have the opportunity to describe our AI chatbot. Now there's going to be a description already here crafted for you, but it is 100% editable. So if you would like to change any piece of this, you can edit it, you can delete it and start from scratch, completely up to you. But I'm gonna go ahead and use what it has given me. So I'm gonna go ahead and create AI chatbot. So we can see it's scanning my store. It's learning about all of my products. It's training our AI assistant perfecting the tone and adding finishing touches. All right. Now, if you have built an AI chatbot with us before, you can see this is looking a little bit similar to what it's going to look like over in Jotform. But first up, we want to choose what our avatar is going to look like. So we can choose from a long list of avatars. I'm going to go ahead and leave it on this very first one. Go ahead and scroll down. We can change our personas name, our agent's name, we can change their role. I'm going to go ahead and make this blush and birches online assistant. We can change the chattiness level. If you want, we can change that default language. We have the tone of voice, casual, professional, or friendly. I'm going to go ahead and leave it on casual. And then we have that greeting message. Then down at the bottom, we can kind of see what she's looking like. So back over the top, I'm going to head over to agent style. This is where we can make it fit our brand. So we can choose from a template color. I'm going to go and choose this first one. But if you want, if you have your own brand colors, you can choose to add them in here. We can change the font family, that color. We can even switch the side that our agent is on and we can choose to have it always open, open after five seconds, 10 seconds, or not have it open at all and have our users manually open it if they need support. All right, back up at the top, let's go to train your chatbot. So it's auto trained already. After looking at all of the store, it knows a lot about us already. Uh, and then we can turn on these agent skills. As of right now, they're all turned on. So we have products. So it's going to know our products in our store, order status, recommending products and adding and updating a cart. Now keep in mind, you can see up here, we have a couple things that are coming soon. So if you are going to be utilizing this, make sure you come back and check to see what else is going to be popping up. All right, let's go ahead and let's publish. All right, we can see, hello, I'm Sophia, your AI agent. 
how can I assist you? I think first up, let's go ahead and track an order. So I'm gonna do the track order option. All right, so it says that it needs an order number and an email address. Let's go up and look at our customers. So we have Maggie, looks like hers has already been shipped, it's fulfilled, and her order number is 1002. So let's do 1002 and her email. Let's choose to go. All right, so we have our order. We have two items, the total, and it shows it's been confirmed. We have it's on the way, and if we want, we can track that order here. Now let's do some searching. So I'm interested in a green dress. Let's see what pops up here. All right. So I found a lovely sage green midi dress, $55. Here's an image of that. Looks like it's the sage blue midi dress. And it also gave us a recommendation of a necklace to go with that dress. So we can go ahead and add to cart. Let's say I do want this one. And again, remember there are different variants of this, different sizes. So you can say, okay, which size do you want? We'll do medium. All right has been added to your cart. Would you like assistance with anything else? Perhaps matching accessories? You can keep going as much as you want chatting with your chatbot. All right, let's go ahead. I'm gonna go up here to my cart. And here is our Sage Bloom midi dress in size medium. Now, one thing I definitely wanted to mention as well, I'm actually gonna go over to my workspace over in JotForm. Let's go ahead and refresh and let's take a look at this from JotForm's side of things. So here we can see Sophia. Let's go ahead and edit our agent. And over here under the train tab, this is where you can add in more things. So if you would like to add in maybe your actual website, if you wanna add in some specific knowledge, maybe a PDF file, or if you have very specific FAQs that you want to ensure that are answered correctly, you can do that under the Q&A. We also have different actions. So if you would like your AI chatbot to kick off something as someone is chatting, you can absolutely do that. So like when the user talks about or asks about, you can have it to fill out a form, show a button. You can even have it trigger a workflow. Now, if I jump down to tools, we can see right here that Shopify is already chosen. And you can see those four skills that we added in at the beginning. So if we go up here to add new, we select option, we see those other two that are coming soon. So you can see that it's very similar to the Shopify side of things. So it doesn't matter which way you're going to be adding in, if you're starting with JotForm or if you're starting with Shopify, the experience is gonna be very similar. But one last thing I wanna show you is the conversation takeover. So you wanna make sure that you have your settings turned on to where you're getting notifications of these conversations that are happen happening. And we can see right here, this is the conversation that we just had or is still going on. So if I decide, you know what, I actually want to have a conversation with this person or help out my agent, I can take over. Yes, I wanna take over. And now it says I've taken over the conversation and now I can talk with my customer one-on-one -on -one instead of utilizing that chatbot. And it's really as simple as that. If you have any questions about utilizing an AI agent with your Shopify store, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.